We all have our own unique preferences when it comes to dating, but there are some personalities out there you'd probably be better off avoiding altogether. It's not about judging or attacking anyone, but simply spotting the red flags before you get into deep. Don't you agree? With that said, let's talk about some types of people you might want to swipe left on. The pick me. Ever met someone who's got a serious case of the pick me syndrome? They're like desperate contestants in a talent show, acting over the top to grab everyone's attention. And they're not above throwing shade at others, even their own friends, just to shine brighter themselves. When they say, I'm not like most people, I'm cool and different. What they're really screaming is, please pick me, look at how much I need validation, and who needs that? Dating a pick me is exhausting. But remember, everyone has their moments of seeking validation. It's crucial to understand and communicate openly to foster a healthy connection. If you can't handle me at my worst, ah, the classic line, if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. Sounds empowering, right? But dating someone who lives by this motto is like signing up for an emotional roller coaster. They're likely using it to justify their erratic behavior. Healthy relationships thrive on understanding and compromise, not ultimatums. Everyone has their ups and downs, but a loving relationship is built on mutual support, not a constant test of endurance. The Ghost Whisperer You've been dating for a while, but it feels like your partner is a master of disappearing acts. Ever met someone who makes Houdini look like an amateur magician with their disappearing acts? You're texting, you're vibing, and then poof, they vanish without a trace. No replies, no explanations. Yep, you've stumbled upon the elusive ghost whisperer, a commitment phobe who likes to vanish into thin air. Try to open up a conversation about expectations and boundaries with this person, and if they still disappear, then just know that it's not you, it's them. The mirror, mirror on the wall. Imagine being with someone who's like your own personal clone. It might sound cool at first, right? But here's the deal with dating a copycat. They lack individuality, and that's a huge red flag. They'll pick up your hobbies, mimic your tastes, and just spout your opinions back to you because they can't think for themselves and don't know who they are. And though it might feel flattering at first, dating someone like this can stunt personal growth and development. In a healthy relationship, both partners encourage and celebrate each other's individuality. But because you're essentially in a relationship with your own reflection, there's no challenge, no depth, and no connection. The Love Bomber Too fast too soon? Love bombers are like relationship tornadoes, showering you with excessive affection and attention from the get-go. It might feel like a dream come true initially, but watch out. It's often a manipulative tactic. Love bombers use overwhelming flattery and gifts to quickly gain control and create dependency. Once they got you hooked, that is when they use the hot and cold method to keep you in a trauma bond. It's crucial not to get swept away by the whirlwind, as their interactions are rarely genuine. If someone's love seems too good to be true, it might just be a love bomber in disguise. Steer clear and take your time to build a genuine connection based on trust and authenticity. The Time Traveler Ever feel like you're dating someone who's stuck in the past or still hung up on their ex? What about someone living in a future that hasn't happened yet? Where you're already in the happily ever after? That's the problem with dating the time traveler. They're so busy planning an idealized future or stuck in their own memories that they forget to enjoy the now, which leaves you feeling lonely in the present. The Serial Monologuer Conversations are a two-way street. But it seems like the person you're dating missed that memo. They treat every conversation like a monologue and talk much more than they listen, sometimes even dismissing your input. If you find it difficult to have an engaging, mutual conversation with someone, then it's time to hit the brakes on your relationship. A meaningful connection between two people can only be established through active listening, mutual understanding, and a balance between sharing and receiving. The Social Media Stalker Imagine this, you're just starting to get to know someone, and BAM! They're digging up your ancient Facebook posts, scrutinizing your friend list, and telling you not to like these certain posts. 
a bit much, right? Sure, it might seem harmless, but excessive snooping can stir up misunderstandings and sow seeds of trust issues. This is not love, it's an unhealthy obsession. So if your potential partner is already reciting your social media posts from 5 years ago back to you, maybe don't go on another date with them. So, do you relate to any of these things we mentioned? What are some other types of people you should never date? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's start a conversation. Remember, it's not about judging others, but finding the right match. Keeping an eye out for these dating red flags can save you from a world of romantic headaches. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Click here to watch our videos on who you're attracted to reveals a lot about you and the only dating advice you'll ever need. Thanks for watching.